Hello, this is John from TCA Math Academy. And what I have for you here in this particular video is going to be a quick lesson on vertical angles. Now, uh, these two lines right here are forming vertical angles, but where are the angles? And more importantly, what are the properties of vertical angles that every math student needs to understand? Now, this is typically taught in like a high school level geometry course, but it can also be introduced uh, because this is actually very, very easy in like some sort of middle school uh, math course, like maybe like pre-algebra. But if you never heard of vertical angles before, stick around as this is going to be super, super easy stuff. And in geometry, there's a lot of different type of angles that you need to study and angle properties. Vertical angles is probably the easiest angles that you will study. So I'm going to get into all of this in just one second, give you a couple of quick examples about vertical angles. So again, this is not going to be that difficult. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so why don't you kind of complete this sentence and put your answer into the comment section. Uh, vertical angles are what? Vertical angles are what? Okay, well, if you said vertical angles are equal, well, that uh, indicates to me that you know what vertical angles are. Matter of fact, let's give you a nice little happy face, an A plus a 100% and a few stars so you can celebrate your understanding of vertical angles because it seems to me that you know exactly what you're talking about. But let's go ahead and take a look at an example of actual vertical angles. Okay, so here we have two lines that cross and anytime you have two lines that cross and they can be you know, uh, you know, any kind of angle, as long as you have two intersecting lines, you're going to have vertical angles formed. So here you can see this angle and this angle, these two angles right here would be vertical angles. And again, this is, you know, really basic important stuff in geometry. But the main property you need to understand is that vertical angles are equal or congruent, okay, which means they have the same angle measure. So if this angle right here is 30 degrees, and then this angle right here is going to be 30 degrees as well. So let's take a look at these angles right here, okay? So you're like, oh, okay, these are vertical angles. I understand that. What about these angles right here? This angle and this angle, are they vertical angles? Matter of fact, they are okay so these are vertical angles as well and in this particular problem we can actually figure this out because we have enough information here to get this angle okay now how can we get this angle right here well if this is 30 degrees okay this is 30 degrees right here well from here to here is how many degrees well how many degrees are in a straight line that would be 180 degrees so to get this angle right here, if this is 30, all I would have to do is take that 180 degrees minus 30 degrees. And if my math is right, that would be 150 degrees right here. So that would be 150. So 150 plus this 30 degrees right here would be this 30 degrees right here. So if this is 150, that's 30. The entire line is 180 degrees. So let me kind of just make this nice and neat. So this angle right here would be 150 degrees and of course this is its vertical angle so this angle right there is 150 degrees and that's it okay so vertical angles are congruent or equal and that is a uh, again probably the easiest angle or type of angle that you'll study in geometry but you can have more interesting problems than this one right here let's go ahead and take a look at something like this Okay, so this is a very, very common type of geometry problem. So the, the problem won't state that, oh, you have vertical angles here. It's just going to give you something like this, and it's going to say, hey, solve for x, okay, or find the value of x. So what you have to recognize is that, oh, this is uh, these two angles here, uh, 30 degrees is equal to this expression. This represents some sort of the angle measure. Uh, of this angle. Now I could get a little bit more fancy 
and say that's in degrees right there. It's probably more technically correct. So this um, expression uh, measuring this angle right here is equal to this uh, angle, which of course is 30 degrees. So we can just simply equate these two. This is equal to this. So 30 will be equal to 2x plus 2. And now all we have to do is solve this basic equation for x. All right, so here we got 30 is equal to 2x plus 2, or 2x plus 2 is equal to 30. I always like to solve equations where the variable's on the left-hand side. doesn't make a difference. 30 is equal to 2x plus 2, or 2x uh, plus 2 is equal to 30. So what we need to do here is just some basic, basic algebra. So we're simply going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. That gives us uh, 2x is equal to 30 minus uh, 2, which, of course, is 28. And now we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 2. Uh, so we're going to get x is equal to 20 divided by 2, or 14. So x is equal to 14. OK, so two basic examples of uh, vertical angle problems. And this is very typical uh, in geometry, but it also shows up on standardized tests like the SAT, GED, ACT. And, um, you know, I could just kind of rattle, the, uh, you know, more tests, you know, including just basic uh, tests like, you know, you'll find in your Algebra 1 course or pre-algebra course as well. But in geometry, there are a lot of different types of angles, okay, beyond vertical angles. There's alternate interior angles. There's supplementary angles, complementary angles. Uh, again, a lot of different angles. So you just got to take this stuff one uh, one angle at a time and one property at a time. And that's why it's so important to take good notes, okay? Matter of fact, uh, one thing I don't mention a lot in my videos, at least my more uh, recent videos, is I do um, offer um, uh, very detailed math notes. And if you need um, some math notes, you should see them in under the, the description of this video. You'll see the links uh, to my math notes in the description of this video, but I offer uh, pre-algebra and algebra notes. That's one uh, set of notes. I used, to sep uh, I used to sell those separately. Uh, now I offer those together. Uh, so that's one note that I also have for uh, geometry uh, notes and algebra two trigonometry notes at this time. So you need some sort of reference on this, or if uh, you really need to kind of understand this, you might want to check out like my full geometry course. But either way, if you need to know this stuff, you need to be taking notes because there's just too many things. And oftentimes this stuff is not that difficult, but it, you know, if you're like, oh, this is easy, uh, I'll, I'll remember it. No, you won't remember it because you're gonna be, you know, um, getting so much information that you have to write stuff down. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.